Hi everyone, I'm Priya. I'm an anaesthetist and I'm here to talk to you about epidurals um, and to teach you a little bit, hopefully, some of the technical aspects of epidurals and non-technical aspects of epidurals, such as setting them up, positioning your patient and how to approach a patient who's requested an epidural. The epidural referrals come to you via a phone call at this hospital. During that phone call, there are a few things that need to be covered. So you'll obviously find out where the patient is and what the indication hopefully is for the epidural. And uh, it could be maternal request or medical. It's important there to just get a brief handover of any of the issues in the pregnancy or the details of the pregnancy, as well as suss out any contraindications. When the referrer is on the phone, it's really important to remind them of the agreed referral process, which involves getting the patient ready and preparing them, as well as preparing what equipment might be needed if possible, such as the epidural trolley and the drug trolley, as well as any, uh, any other monitoring that's not in the room. So we'd like the patient to be in a gown with a drip on and fluids connected with the monitoring ready to go, hopefully by the time we come up to the room. We also ask our colleagues, midwifery colleagues, to pop in an electronic referral for our epidurals, which we would like you to acknowledge. And we'll show you how to do that when you arrive with us. We expect that our trainees will get to an epidural within 30 minutes. If there's going to be an issue with that for whatever reason, say you're busy with another task or there are multiple back-to-back -back referrals for epidurals, it's really expected that you're going to escalate that with either your co-registrar if they're available at the hospital or your consultant in charge to allow for the patient to get a timely epidural that they're probably pretty desperate for by the time you walk in the room.